sun's up, it's a new day. You know what, I really appreciate all of these opportunities. So if you're one of those people in my life or that's been in my life in the past, and I haven't had a chance to say how much I appreciate you recently. Thank you, I do appreciate you. So 28, coming to you from Adelaide this morning, where it's actually pretty cold. I definitely did uh, did not come equipped for the conditions, but uh, one of those awesome opportunities to come and check out a different city in the dark before it wakes up. It's kind of becoming a thing, isn't it? <laughs> not intentional. I guess that's also the benefit of getting up early. Down here for a couple of days to visit partners, meet with colleagues, and one of those great privileges. The work that I get to do, helping thousands of people study overseas. I had a mixed feelings this morning. It's actually a spectacular city. I love Adelaide. Uh, had a good colleague you'd leave yesterday, so just kind of in that funny place where you know you're you're a little bit sad you know like it's a new new day new beginning but you know it's hard to shake off the past so good to get up and get cold <laughs> get a walk in and check out something that you're not used to seeing on Rundle Mall it's like one of the main shopping areas in Adelaide Pretty awesome people just starting to set up the shops everything else is shuttered closed down I'm just a bit stressed and anxious you know I know that everyone else got sort of personal messages and farewell farewell emails and I actually didn't get anything so I guess as a manager leader of an organization whatever it kind of makes you a bit stressed and anxious that you know did you actually do your best did you do the right thing by people to show enough appreciation. I'd like to think so, but it's hard to know, isn't it? You know you should always uh, try to do your best to appreciate people and support people and give to people. Not because of what it might bring back for you, but just because it's the right thing to do. I heard this great uh, interview with a chap who was saying, you know, if you go into into situations and into relationships and into every day with, with that attitude, you know, like what can I do for you? How can I support you? And you show that appreciation every day. And you meet 30 people that day and every person you ask them, how can I help you? And you deliver on that. Like eventually, good stuff will happen to you in your life no matter, no matter what, right? because it's like you leave this trail of goodwill everywhere. I hope it comes back anyway. Anyway, what's done is done. Can't change the past. Sun's coming up, it's a new day. There's a plane taking off, heading somewhere. People going places. The world's kind of a beautiful place still, isn't it? Love this kind of stillness first thing in the morning. It's just magical. Adelaide's a really cool little city. Super compact, but plenty to do. Right now, it's kind of spectacular moment. Just the uh, the beginning of the dawn, that orange hue hitting the top of the Adelaide Hills off to the east. I guess there's this thought like, 
don't forget to appreciate the people that appreciate you. It's, uh, it's so easy when, you know, we appreciate somebody or something and we, we play that conversation in our heads over and over and it kind of feels like they must know how much you appreciate them because it's been running in our own heads all of this time. And then, you know, suddenly you find out or you realize for some reason like, oh no, they don't actually realize it. How can that possibly be true when I'm always so fucking grateful? And it's because we forget to say things out loud. You know, communication is really hard. We've got this constant noise in our heads. We're having this constant conversation with ourselves. And you can't, you know, get that confused with the reality that <laughs> only you can hear what's going on inside your own head. So, appreciation and gratitude, such important, powerful forces in the world that we just need to do more of, all of us, every day. We really need to just appreciate things and people for, for who and what they are. You know, not for what they will be, not for what they were, but for what they are, you know, right now, the importance that they have right now, and to make that really genuine, not conflicted, just to appreciate it. it makes us feel good, you know? Actually over at the University of Adelaide now, walking through, really pretty awesome to come to a place like this which is so buzzing with energy throughout the day and it's so still and quiet here there's nobody around at all it actually made me think <laughs> still and quiet this morning has been so freaking noisy you know, there's been loud planes coming overhead there's like people cranes there's like blower vacuums going on machines and trucks Dead said it's, it's kind of like when I was down by Sydney Harbour a week ago and it was so still and quiet and peaceful. And you come to Adelaide and it's like bustling and moving. It's completely different. It's pretty awesome to be, yeah, at the uni here though with, with nobody around. I'll be back here in a couple of hours and it'll be jamming. <gasps> now, now this is interesting. This is uh, open day, open day hallway. So it must have just been on the weekend. Basically, this entire long hallway would have been filled with, you know, thousands of high school students, mature age students, all thinking about coming to university. Now it's actually abandoned, empty. Such a hard decision. You know, should you come to university, should you not? Wow, this place is huge, isn't it? How do you decide that? It's complicated, right? And society puts so much pressure on us to try and shove us in one direction or another. It's actually the whole reason I'm doing this, this channel is to try and show that it's not just about university, although that's an awesome choice. The world's open. Travel, study, work, career. And all of those paths can lead you to amazing places. Even if it seems like the only obvious choice is, uh, is, you know, for example, university. It's not everything. I mean, awesome if you can go to university, but also not the end of the world if you can't, because you can do so many amazing things with your life, even without it. And I think the beautiful thing about uni, I think I've talked about this before, but, you know, classes is just one of the smallest Maybe not even the most important part of university. It's really about the people you meet and the things that you get exposed to. You know, the opportunity to go and study overseas, to do internships, travel on the side, work. Explore subjects that you might not have even known existed. That's, that's where you actually end up discovering what you're really into. And that's one of the beautiful things about uni is it gives you like this freedom, this space to express yourself this space to explore without the stigma of fucking society always telling you what to do and you know what you should and shouldn't be you know society shouldn't set limits on who we can be 
but it really does a lot of the time. It's not cool. <laughs> this is quite neat. I hadn't realised that um, Adelaide also had one of these bridges full of the padlocks, you know, with people's names engraved on them and the dates. It's kind of a beautiful thing, isn't it? The stuff that went well, the stuff they learned, the things that broke. There's a shit ton of broken hearts here too, aren't there? Beautiful thing to stumble across this morning. It's like overwhelming, right? It's, these are people's stories. These are their fucking lives. Just like padlocked to a fence. Near a river, near a university, in a city. It's beautiful. This is the most extraordinary part of Adelaide. I absolutely love it. Every morning, you come here and you have these crisp blue skies. The air is fresh. And this magnificent kind of river that runs through town. Sunrise coming up to the east over the hills. It's just a beautiful place, such a privilege to be able to come to a place like this. Oh, it's funny, you know. The sun's coming up. It's a new day, a new path begun, unlimited opportunities. It's amazing how just when we're by ourselves, sometimes like we can get too caught up in our own thoughts. Like just stuck, right? Blue, morose, whatever you want to call it. And then this happens. the beauty of the early morning. Every day is a fresh start. Every day is a blessing. I'm lucky to be here. Another chance to create a little bit of positive impact in the world. Anyway, handful of thoughts for you this morning. The sun's always coming up. Dog is always happy. No dog. Dong. Anyway, I'm Rob Wolicki. I'll see you next time on the morning walk.